To give you a demonstration of the power of real-time geometry technology, we're going to open up a file here which was scanned with the real-time geometry 3D scanner. The purpose of this is to demonstrate sequentially what real-time geometry technology delivers that's new and innovative to the 3D world. Here I've opened up an image which looks like a 2D image, but you'll notice that if I grab it with this hand and manipulate it, it truly is a 3D file. This is a 3D file which was captured with the real-time geometry 3D scanner. The significance of this is not that just that we have a 3D file, but we also have the 3D wire mesh object associated with the texture map, which makes this a full colored image. One of the things to note here is as I bring this image closer to us, you see that it is actually increasing resolution as I bring it closer. And this is one of the powers of real-time geometry technology. Multi-resolution 3D images, which can be dynamically scaled in real time. As I push this into the background, it'll lower its resolution on demand as we push it into the background. Or we can just come over here and simply dial down the resolution, as you can see, by dynamically asking it to resolve itself. I'll push it into the background again. This ability to dynamically resolve an image from 33,000 polygons to 1,900 polygons is an, it's a critical capability, multi-resolution capability, that 3D authors and designers have been asking for for years. This is a fundamental breakthrough in 3D technology. You'll notice if I put the surface texture back on here again, it's much easier to move this model with 1,900 polygons than it is with 32,000. And I'll continue to push it into the background. But there's still a major problem with 3D today, and that is that we've improved the ability to manipulate this image by changing the size of the polygon count and still render a high-resolution image. But regardless of that, we still have the situation where in 3D today, the texture map associated with this image requires an enormous amount of RAM to be able to put complex images on screen. This fundamental problem real-time geometry has attacked over the last 12 months and has created, as a result of very significant basic R&D, a whole new way of representing a 3D image. No longer do we have the surface texture or the texture map as it is known and the object um, behind it, but now we have the ability to go in and create a new type of image. Okay, and that new type of image we know as a Trixel-based image. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to dial this up to full resolution, okay, and come in here and select this image. And when we select this image, we now have an image that I can turn into a Trixel-based image. I'm going to convert this to Trixels by just hitting this button. And what a Trixel-based image is is really an image that eliminates the need for a surface texture. We just completed the conversion, which just takes a couple of seconds. You'll notice that I can rotate this image very easily again. And in fact, I can dial up the resolution of this image and bring in that full image on demand. These files are, sub are substantially smaller than using a texture-based image with an object. The ability to move these type of images can be accelerated using 3D graphics accelerators such as real 3D's graphic accelerators. And you'll also notice that all of this software, and this is pure software running on the Intel architecture under Windows and can take advantage of Intel architecture technology such as MMX technology. But what you'll notice here is that we don't actually have any texture map associated with this image now. This image is completely made out of polygons. And as I zoom in on this image, you'll notice that what we have here is very high resolution data around the areas where we need high resolution data. This image requires the ability to grow shade the image. We've actually created a new file that allows you for the first time to represent a full color image in 3D without the need for a texture map. This is a breakthrough in 3D technology. We believe it will become very widespread and commonly used for the internet viewing of 3D objects, the modeling of 3D objects, and probably most importantly, the transmission of 3D objects. This is the power of real-time geometry technology.